Hey everyone, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. Hope your weekend is going well. It's Sunday, November 11th. Hope you're holding strong in this bear market because very big things are to come. And I have some news items I want to share here with you guys. Some definitely some positive uh, items. Not too many, but um, I think some important items that I did want to make this video to share with you. The first is Binance just recently on November 9th. Uh, published a article talking about their the things that they're putting into place for institutional traders. Now, we know Binance is pretty much the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. It's global, has massive volume. They've been doing some big things, moving to Malta, uh, expanding their services and so forth. And, you know, along with other exchanges like Coinbase and so forth, they've been building services to help bring in institutional money to put the safeguards in place to make sure that the appropriate services are in place so big money can be comfortable in using them uh, for trading and you know obviously buying crypto and so forth so here's a tweet here's a tweet sharing the article since our inception binance has been dedicated to providing the highest level of security reliability and quality here are some of the ways we've evolved to cater to our growing user base and um, here's the actual article on their blog, laying the groundwork for institutional capital. Uh, so I, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I want to just call out some of the things that they're doing because this is a great sign. And I, as I always tell you, watch what the big money is doing. Watch what the exchanges are doing. And the moves that are being made is to open the doors to help the big money to come in. So uh, they talked about building the technological foundation and what they're doing in their exchange. Talk about bespoke services for high volume traders, right? Um, also, they talk about greater support for corporate account holders. This is all music to my ears because this is what um, I, I, you want to see. These services being built out um, and that they can cater to those big corporate giants and institutional investors. And they also talk about how you can get started as a, you know, start your corporate account. Uh, Binance provides straightforward registration process for institutions and they provide a link here on how to sign up for this and talk about their API system, which is of course important because remember these big corporate institutional money and so forth, they want the API, they're going to pull in big data, they're going to do some pull, pull it into their dashboard or whatever it is and have reporting for their clients, right? Yes, Mr. Wealthy Person, I will pull a report on your portfolio, which is valued at $30 million, right? Um, they're moving to the direction of what these people are used to on Wall Street. So I hope you, you grasp that. Uh, they said, sneak peek, what's in store for institutional traders? So um, let, let me actually read off a couple of these things. Binance Q4 Roadmap. Is marked with several crucial updates aiming to tweak and optimize the core trading experience for enterprise traders. We're equipping users with a cross-functional set of trading management tools, starting with the release of a much-requested sub-account feature by the end of December. So some big things coming up. And here's what they're uh, here's the callouts: up to 200 sub-accounts supported. That's pretty big, man. So think about. I don't know, some company or institution which has multiple people working in it, of course, right? 100 employees, whatever it is, or more, and they need multiple accounts, up to 200 sub-accounts. That's big. Um, they said here, account and trading activity overview for sub-accounts, login history, open orders, etc. No fee transfers of funds between sub-accounts. Full control of sub-accounts, including setting two-factor authentication, removal of API keys slash orders and passwords, or even freezing the sub-account. Um, and there's a lot more. Uh, they said here, in addition, we also plan to host more offline meetups for corporate users to provide a more informal setting for networking and industry discussion. So this is what institutions and so forth who license or buy software or leverage a platform are used to right multiple accounts full service um and, and having all these controls where okay if i want to turn off uh you know the sub account for bob or something i can or limit his access i can do that because they may have different employees at different levels so this is a great sign i always tell you guys watch what every what the big money the businesses the exchanges are doing and this is a move in the direction of the growth of the market. So 
that's why I always say look at the facts, not get caught up in your emotions with the roller coaster that's going on on the charts. You got to look at what the big money is doing. And this is a great sign. The largest cryptocurrency exchange, um, global, well known, of course, making a lot of money. So this is a great move on their part and uh, exciting stuff to come. And a lot of it's going to be launched in December. Now, some news on Coinbase. Um, speaking of exchanges, now we all know Coinbase has bullshitted for you know the past year. Man, can you imagine what a powerhouse Coinbase would have been if they had simply started listing coins, like starting with the XRP rumors that came out, remember last December? Even if they didn't list, list XRP, right? Let's just say they did. They didn't. If they just started adding, for example, like the ones they're adding now, Ethereum Classic, Basic Attention Token, Stellar, Cardano, if they were doing that once per month or even, you know, twice per month, they would have been such a powerhouse, but they got greedy sitting on their boatload of Bitcoin and Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash, and now you guys saw the news. They're, they're in a panic, right? We see we saw them come out on CNBC Fast Money saying, oh, yeah, we're changing our listing policy. We're going to add all these coins. And now you're seeing they're trying to catch up to Bittrex and Binance because Bittrex and Binance has been eating their lunch. You have a whole bunch of other competitors coming into the U.S. market, such as uh, Robinhood and, of course, Uphold. And everybody's launching their crypto trading services. So Coinbase was losing market share. And, you know, back last year, they had this power where if they were going to list a coin, that coin would start pumping and it would see growth because look at how what happened when they listed Litecoin and, of course, Ethereum. So uh, everyone was under that expectation, but they lost that power, I think, now. And this article here in Coinbase, uh, sorry, on Coindesk highlights that, that the effect, the Coinbase effect turns bearish after bat prices drop post listing. Of course. And even like Ethereum Classic and 0x, I believe, is what they listed. There was a small pump. It's not like before. You know, look at where Litecoin is now, right? And Litecoin really saw a big jump when it got listed to Coinbase. But that was last year. And uh, we're seeing now it doesn't have that power anymore. And that's good. It shouldn't be that way that, oh, my gosh, this exchange lists this coin. It pumps. That's bullshit because um, it's just speculation, right? Um, it should be the market needs to mature where we go to utility. What is your real world working product? What, what problem are you solving? And, and, and people have been, you know, obviously in anticipation of a listing of XRP, but now it's like, who cares anymore? It, it, look at what happened to bat. And I hold bat in my portfolio. I'm, I'm a believer in the basic attention token because I've seen what they're trying to disrupt the online publishing marketing, you know, advertiser, publisher dynamic. And uh, Coinbase is really doesn't have that power anymore. And that's good. I think that's good for the market because it's just pointless in that, oh, my God, we're going to list this coin. So it has to pump. What's the point of that? That, that has no value. Show me the utility. So I want you guys to know about that. Now, am I saying I don't want Coinbase to list XRP? No, I think in the long run, it'll be it'd be great because the more places XRP is placed, the more liquidity, and more opportunities for people to buy. Am I... Am I, am I, do I want it to happen like right now so I can see the price go up? No, uh, because I think it, it will probably see the reverse. Now, don't get me wrong. We are in a bear market, but um, at the same time, the effect is not there. And that, that's good. I, I'm glad that's happening because we don't need like, you know, Coinbase's superficial pump. Like there's no nothing behind it. It's just a matter of speculation. So um, let's see what else they list. Like I said in the past, I believe they will be forced to list XRP. They will be dumb if they don't because they're going to lose money, uh, especially when XRP uh, currently has Bittrex, Bitso, Coins.ph as X-Rapid exchange partners. Coinbase could have been that, um, and Bittrex went ahead and did it. So once those banks and financial institutions start rolling out with a heavy volume and the news and PR starts picking up which banks and which companies are going live, they're going to start listening. They're going to lose out on money, especially what Ripple doing heavy marketing. We've already seen that already. They're going on the Ellen show. They're donating to charity. They're doing this. So they know what they're doing from a marketing perspective. And of course, those banks and, and so forth are going to market themselves. The natural news cycle of fintech news and so forth will pick it up. So um, at this point, I don't really care for a Coinbase listing XRP. I believe it will eventually happen, but... 
based on what we're seeing, it's not it's not even worth it. <laughs> um, so just want to let you guys know that we're not, you know, a lot of people are recognizing that now and it's a good thing. Um, now on to some more Ripple XRP news. So TransferGo, we know, is one of Ripple XRP, uh, Ripple's partners, uh, one of the, the financial institutions or money transfer companies that are signed on with Ripple. Well, this user here, um, I think I've showed this guy on my um, on my channel before. He does some great infographics. Um, he talks about Ripple XRP, Cardano, Tron, um, ICX as well. So he asked a question to the CEO of TransferGo, um, asking him, hey, uh, do you plan to pilot XRapid in the near future? And he responded, yes, we are looking at XRapid. And this is where the fudsters keep going around. Oh, it's a XRP is a shit coin. Uh, no one will ever use it, right? We, we've heard the, the the facts are out here, and I'm all about facts and logic. And like I said, if Bitcoin was doing this, I, my bags would be majority filled with Bitcoin or Stellar, right? But X Ripple and, and is doing it with XRP, and and that's the facts. And there's still people out there, man. I see it. It's so, it's so ignorant. Like they don't take the time. All they be like, oh, it's a banker scam coin, and it's this and that. Like I've said before, I'm here to make money. I'm not here for religious following and and some sort of uh, ideology of taking on the government or whatever. Good luck with that. Um, and these people who are saying these things keep, still keep their money in the bank. They they, they still uh, when they need a loan, they still go to the bank and so forth. But here, guys, confirmation that Transfer Go, and, and just to confirm here, he's the co-founder and CEO of Transfer Go. I, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. Um, and, of course, Transfer Go is a money transfer company, um, and they have based, they're based in London. So uh, more and more, we're seeing confirmations of companies that are going to test XRapid, also use it. And we know Brad Garling has said dozens next year. We have, excuse me, three going live this quarter. So I'm very curious and, and, and in anticipation of the volume kicking in for those. Mercury effects, Qualix, and um, boy, uh, Catalyst Federal Credit Union. I almost forget that last one. Uh, but those three are slated to go live. So I can't wait for the volume to kick in, guys. Um, now moving ahead to the next news here. PDX Coin, shout out to Leonidas, also known as Petrodollars. Their white paper released on November 1st, a very recent in the white paper, and I have it pulled up here, they mention a lot of, uh, they talk a lot about Ripple and talking about Ripple's technologies and so forth. And Leonidas here, he screenshotted it saying, uh, or quoted it, PDX may also license and utilize Ripple's proprietary XRapid platform that may en enable PDX to be, to more efficiently be exchanged for fiat currencies cheaply and rapidly in real time. So now we're seeing other cryptocurrency projects are going to be could potentially leverage uh, Ripple's technology. And of course, like I always said, even exchanges now are waking up to XRP being fast, faster than every other crypto out there, uh, and more transactions per second and very cheap to use. Um, and they're going to use it as a base currency versus Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are slower and more expensive. And those are just the facts. I have nothing against Bitcoin or Ethereum. I hold them in my portfolio. Um, I believe I report on Ethereum. I think Ethereum is going to be a big winner. Of course, Bitcoin, because it's the original, it has the branding. Um, but I have nothing against it. I'm holding, but I'm a factual, logical person. I got to call it like it is. So um, Petrodollars here, uh, PDX coin, they clearly in their white paper talk about that they also talk about x current whoops looks like i clicked on a link in there let me let me back up here um they talk about x current and x rapid so they're going to look to leverage ripple's technology so um definitely a great sign let me make sure i scroll back here and i'll zoom in a bit here so you guys can see what i'm talking about yeah pdx may license and utilize ripple's proprietary x current they also say the same thing x rapid and so forth. So uh, continued adoption and people recognizing the benefits. Now, uh, another item here shared by Leonidas, Belfrex, a global cryptocurrency exchange that currently operates in seven countries, is offering XRP, um, TZS, Tanzanian, Tanzanian shilling, USD, I don't know what, uh, NGN, KES, Kenyan shilling, BTC pairs. The total XRP Fiat pairs that I know of is now 44. So we're seeing continually. And the reason why I share this with you guys, 
it's not to say there's not other coins having this um, type of listing as well, but XRP being the number three crypto in the market, people are now waking up to, oh yeah, yeah, this we should be listing this. This now we understand the benefits. The education and the knowledge is being shared, the news is being shared here, and these exchanges are listing it. Um, last year was a different story, right? Run up to that bull run, there weren't many exchanges, and this is why Coinbase now is like they're losing market share because you have these global cryptocurrency exchanges, even ones specific to the United States, that are popping up and they're taking market share. It's a lot of exchanges now, so this is a great sign. Even in this bear market we had all year, we had so many exchanges pop up, open their doors, listing more coins, adding fiat pairing, which is very, was very limited last year. So, man, this is such a good foundation and, and preparation for the next bull run because just imagine, people can easily now go buy with U.S. dollars and or the native fiat currency, and that is a great sign. No more roadblocks or limitations. No more having to go buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, transfer it to this exchange, and then have to buy all coins. They have the they have more opportunities now to buy all coins directly with cash, bank transfer, credit cards, things like that. And that's very good for those of us who are the early adopters holding, right? Who have bought at lower prices, and now we are just waiting for the next bull run and bull runs after. So definitely, definitely a win. Uh, and Belfrex, let me see. I, I haven't heard about them before. Um, I don't know where they're based, but it looks like it's um, maybe somewhere in Africa, possibly. Just from um, the photos that I'm seeing here, it seems that way. But as you can see, crypto is global, man. These exchanges are popping up in countries around the world. And um, it's a global movement. It's a new asset class. Blockchain is here to change the world just the same way the internet did. It's the, you know, if we have the internet here as one layer, blockchain is going to be built on that and it's going to take our ability to uh, transact and communicate and, 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 and uh, trust and verify things to the next level. Um, so the future is bright, but we got to be patient. So I hope you guys don't become impatient. Don't become that Wall Street statistic of the um the psychology of, of uh, you know, m majority of investors where they get into you know, euphoric and depressed and despair and they sell off and whatever and they end up buying back in at higher prices than they were holding before. So I hope you don't become that statistics, it's statistic, excuse me, uh, because there's nothing new under the sun here from a um, psychology standpoint or market cycles. A lot of these cycles ex exist before in other markets like gold and, and stock markets and so forth. Now, the technology is different, right? The nature of the asset is different. Bitcoin is digital. But the psychology, the investment psychology um, is, is still the same. Humans are still humans. And once you wake up to these things and market cycles and, and you understand you got to be patient here, um, you'll see these things in a very different light. And that's not to say you're not doing your research or, or looking at facts. This is why I try to share with you the facts of the things that are happening that may not make the mainstream news. CNBC Fast Money is not going to mention some of these things, right? They're not going to talk about a tweet from a directly from a CEO of a company saying this. Sure, they might for some, but not for like maybe Transfer Go, which is not a big household name, but still will be moving by high volumes of money if they use X Rapid. Um, so you that's where you got to look at the facts, read between the lines a bit, and uh, understand how the market works, understand that this is a young market, it's going to be manipulated, um, and there's still ways to go for it to grow, but uh, the early bird here will get the worm, guys. Um, and is this is really an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, another one, you know, the 90s, we had the dot-com, the rise of the internet, and there's a lot of people who became millionaires off, off of, um, you know, tech stocks and internet stocks. There was a point, there was a lot of FUD around the internet when it first came out, guys, and different websites and people saying, no one's ever going to go online and do this, especially in the slower days, the dial-up days. And no one's ever going to, it's going to die, Y2K, blah, blah, blah. But look where we are now. Look where we are now. There's people who've made a lot of money in the 90s. Um... And, and even, you know, tech stocks like uh, Dell, HP, and, and, and Apple, because there were computers and you needed computers to get online. 
and so forth. So they were directly correlated. Uh, but it's a lot of people who made a lot of money, guys. And um, uh, this, I believe this market's going to, you know, as it continues to grow, will mint a lot of millionaires. And uh, But only those who are patient to keep holding, to let it mature a bit and, and wait to for the, you know, these these infrastructure to be built out and, and the big money's getting in now. So anyway, guys, what do you think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description. Uh, if you find these videos helpful, please share my channel with your friends and family who want to learn about crypto. You know my approach. I take a factual, logical business approach here. No over-speculation. Um, no emotional rants here or, in, or, or looking at the market. We look at facts. We look at what the big money is doing. And that is um, the way we should approach it. So thank you guys for your support. And I'll talk to you all later.